On today's Tech Help for Churches, using Auphonic to process your audio. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of Tech Help for Churches. This is the show where every week I help you with new media, social media, the internet for your church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to join the conversation, so just do that below the video. Now, if you're subscribed, which you can do by heading over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe to uh, either the audio or video podcast, uh, it's not really easy to leave a comment underneath those. So, no problem. Just head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash THFC, short for Tech Help for Churches, and leave your comment there. So we're in the middle of the series talking about podcasting, some of the newer developments since I wrote my book on it. And I've told you about Alphonic before, so I thought that today I'd show you how to use it. Now, if you're listening to the audio podcast, I'm going to try and describe stuff, but if you get lost, just take a look at the video and that'll be helpful. So let's head it over to my computer and we will take a look. This is Auphonic. Now, Auphonic is a pretty cool little piece of gear, um, well, it's actually software, that allows you to do some really cool things. So uh, I've already logged in, you'll need to do that. Notice it says log in right here. There's also a desktop app uh, which you can try before you buy, but let's concentrate on the online software right now. So first I'm gonna click new production and it's gonna say, hey, it needs a file. Now, you can also, you can either upload it or you can go to uh, HTTP, blah, 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 and download it uh, that way. But I'm going to actually upload it. So I'm going to click Choose File. And let's go for Unknown Album. That's uh, where I put all my stuff when I'm done. Now, you'll notice that these are AIFs. Uh, could be WAVs. Probably I wouldn't want to use MP3s, though, even though they're a lot easier to transport, upload, etc. They're already compressed. So I would tend to not want to have this um, compressed if I could avoid it. So let's go to last week's show, which was the one on um, using, yeah, here it is, PowerPress. So I'm going to Double click on that. Okay, so we're good there. Now, I could automatically add an intro and an outro file. Not gonna do that right now, so I'm gonna compress that. I could automatically add all the, uh, I could add the title, a cover image, artist, album, track name, etc. I could do extended, metadata. Not going to worry about that, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go to the output files. And here I want to output it as an mp3. Um, let's see what I've got here. Um, probably anything in this range is going to be too small, but 96, 112, or 128 are right in the realm. Since this is spoken word, let's just keep it as it is. I'm not going to add a suffix onto it, although I could if I wanted to, but I am going to make it mono um, because, again, it's spoken, so it doesn't need to be stereo. Um, I'll put file base name I could add, and I can create more than one type of this. So if I wanted to uh, create another output file, and let's say I wanted to do FLAC, I could, or video, you know, I could do all kinds of stuff, but 
in this case I'm just going to delete that. Uh, chapter marks I'm not going to worry too much about. I can automatically publish this so I can add it and I can put that up in my Libsyn which is pretty cool. I, in this case I'm not going to do that because I've already done that with this particular one but that's pretty cool. Um, adaptive leveler this will stop it from uh, being too loud or too quiet it'll normalize it and it gives us a target of negative 16 luffs so I have <clears throat> excuse me I have some different choices here there's the European standard the American standard uh, podcasts and mobile which is probably what I'm going to stick with etc I can uh, do some filtering noise and hum reduction and reduce that I'm going to skip that for now because I've already I record with the gate so it's generally pretty quiet so we're going to do that and I'm going to click by the way I could click save to save this as a preset or just start production and so that's what I'm going to do and start production again and it's uploading it right now okay so here we have um, the entire audio has been totally processed and I can go ahead and download the final mp3. From my experience this gives a great uh, well normalized audio file and uh, all. In fact I might just add it into my workflow just because it, it does such a good job. But that's how to use Authonic to get uh, your audio normalized and uh, set to the appropriate loudness level. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you can see just what Authonic does and why it might be useful uh, in making the podcast for your church. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. Pick up a church tech gift of your choosing and a free subscription to my email newsletter. While you're there, remember that all this is provided to you free of charge, but if there are resources that you'd like to use to train people at your church to learn yourself, then I've got a bunch of stuff that I made with you in mind over at the store trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store. So head over, look through what we've got, and see if one of those uh, is right for you. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.